Okay, hi guys, thank you all for coming. Um, as you probably know, you're at a benefit concert for Hellgate High School's instruments, which are in a pretty bad state of disrepair as we're going to showcase tonight. Um, but so far we've raised $1,800, which is huge. So thank you to everyone that has donated. We really appreciate it. And we have an anonymous donor who for tonight only has offered to match all donations up to $1,000. Sorry, triple donations up to one thousand dollars for today so, only. If you would like to consider donating or know someone who would, um, you can find the link to the GoFundMe on our website, or there's a donation bin right there that says "Kazoo" on it. <laughs> um, so thank you all for coming, and we hope you enjoy the show. Okay. And Chloe oh. has the <laughs> Um And I just wanted to just talk a little bit about like how we were inspired to just put on this performance. So um, both Elsa and I grew up playing like the violin and I've grown up playing in kind of all different styles of music. And, you know, it really, I, I got involved in orchestra in the sixth grade. And ever since then, it's kind of been my main form of musical expression and my favorite form. I love playing in an orchestra. I love the community that orchestra allows for, I love, creating music with other people. And um, it's kind of been my mission over the past couple of years to try help and um, rebuild the, the music program and the orchestra program within Missoula County Public Schools and then within Hellgate specifically. And so Elsa and I, for our National Honors Project this year, decided that we were going to um, take on the task of raising money to repair the instruments that we have off that, like, that are for rent for the students who can't necessarily afford or don't have their own instruments to play at home. Because we've noticed that there is a severe lack of instruments and all of the instruments that we do have are in terrible, terrible condition. And when you have an instrument that is in terrible condition, it's hard to love the music that you're producing because the sound that you're creating is not the sound that you could be. And so that was our first step. And so this concert is to raise money for that specifically that and just for new strings for new bow hair for new instruments and it all is dependent on all of you and how much we raise tonight so we will start with a performance by me and my sister and a violin teacher and then a couple of the friends that i've made through music my whole life um faith and beatrice and we'll play uh the first movement of the bop double Thank you. 
tunes that we have played in my studio for some years and then we've gone sometimes for months and months and years without playing them and they just kind of surface that the um what order are we the first one's called catharsis and it was written by this wonderful fiddler from vermont her name is amy can and, and she wrote it as a response to um something that she was really rightfully upset about and she said, instead of calling this person who was a good friend of hers and maybe saying something that she would later regret saying to this person who had wronged her in a certain way, she just spent 10 minutes writing this fiddle to So it's called catharsis, and I think she felt a lot better after she wrote it. And we're all the better for it. So, so I just called up right, or Facebook message Ryan this afternoon and said, would you play with us on these fiddle tunes? And then, Katie Dickinson is going to play this guitar. And I just thought I would take a second to introduce um, these two lovely people. This is Mr. Davis. He is my orchestra director for the last four years, the orchestra director here at Hellgate. Um, and this is Beth Youngblood, and she's been my violin teacher for the past 14 years. Um, I started. <laughs> and then this is my sister. So, and then that's Katie. <laughs> Thank you. 
ago and um, <laughs> Jennifer came for this first mom lesson and she said you know I just and she came for her second mom lesson she said you know Story's doing everything that Chloe's doing and Chloe was four <laughs> and Story is kind of like two years younger than Chloe and so I said well it'll be a brand experiment and so <laughs> it works yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, I have to say a lot that of blood was tears later <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so Y'all hear harvest one? Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is a horn pipe, which is a dance, so if you feel like getting up here. <laughs>
Well, this is a fun story. I'll get close to the mic. Um, the, the, this is uh, written by a, a Celtic fiddler um, many, several years ago. Um, and he had a, apparently a house like on the beach somewhere, um, in, somewhere in England where there's a beach. And he had a kitty. And he said at some point he was looking out the window and he saw this, this scory, which is a herring gull, um, out in front on the, on the beach in front of his house. And then the kitty ran up and jumped on the back of the scory. <laughs> and it flew away. And he said, and it flew for like the length of a football field before. And of course, you know, you can imagine Michael's heart was, was beating very quickly at that point. So it flew the length of a football field and then thankfully the kitty jumped off. But of course, it was another reason to write a fiddle tune. You know, so. Oh, yeah. solo in A major by Adam and Jack. Thank you. Thank you. 
So for our final performance uh, tonight, we will be performing. <laughs> we'll be performing uh, the Corelli Christmas Concerto. Is what it's called. Don't worry, it doesn't sound too Christmassy. We're going to just play the first movement, and we're going to play it on the violins, the rental instruments that we have here at Hellgate to use, <laughs> and the rental, all the rental things first, and then we'll play it on our real instruments just to showcase the difference. And um, it's gonna we, sound pretty bad at first. So just just some, be warned. <laughs> a little bit of a, of a forewarning, um, and then I'll kind of go over the gist of the problems that we have with these instruments, and like specifically probably what we're gonna end up fixing with the money that we were saving. So. sound if the hair of your bow isn't connected to your actual bow. Um, this violin's it's pretty okay. It's a three-quarter size though, so it's really small. Uh, this violin has one string. The violin is supposed to have four strings. <laughs> makes it a bit challenging. And something that we've realized is that some of these violins have strings that are like 10, 20, maybe even 30 years old. And me as a violinist, I change my strings every three to six months. And so having the 
these really old strings that are always in danger of snapping and don't have as beautiful of a tone quality is also a detriment. As you can see, this has lost three out of its four strings. So you want to do yeah, so, and then no shoulder rest. Yeah. Yeah, there's no chin rest, so I can't make a good tone. Um, this just has like a little crack. Um, and like no A string. So, oh, just a little crack. Um, you can't tune this one, and you can't loosen or tighten the bow. The viola is disconnected. And there's no string rest or shoulder rest, and all of the strings have like a weird like thing on them. This one's actually pretty okay, but all of the strings are coated in like goo, and so it sounds a little weird, but it's not that bad. The hair of this bow is not there. <laughs> <laughs> the strings are recoiling and there is all of this wood that is still falling off the face. Uh, this one doesn't have an infant anymore. It's actually inside the base, like you can hear it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> also, it has a hole in it, like on the, just <laughs> randomly. No clue why, but uh, bullet hole. Yeah. <laughs> um, all of the majority of the chalas, and by majority I mean like all except for one, which I don't think it is schools, has scratches or even like chips missing on the side or the pegs are unable to stick in tune because you have to like push in a little in tune but they don't do that they just slip back down or they're too um stiff to move and i think that one has a bunch of graffiti on the front of it doesn't yeah. it some pretty inappropriate things etched into the wood of the cello mm -hmm. so now we're gonna switch our instruments to ones that we all have as our own personal instruments that may not be available to all of the students of the orchestra. And that's the instance where they would have to play the instruments like these.
that was our performance of that Corelli concerto. Same one that you heard before, but on our own personal issues. And you can clearly hear that there's a significant difference. Um, our goal in terms of donations is $5,000, and we are currently at, for the last time I checked, we are currently at $1,800. So, and just a reminder that there is a anonymous donor that is willing to triple any of the donations made today, and that's today only. So, thank you guys all for coming. Yeah, yeah, but I can't. 